Okay, so I'm going to um, let you guys listen a little bit more. Um, they're upset now because I'm not showing any more proof, but I told you in the previous video, I don't have to prove anything because everyone knows that they were lying and what they did, which is a crime, besides invading my privacy and surveilling me, which caused me to become so sick, was that they spread these lies and they said the reason they did it, and I got to tell you guys this, was they felt that if I could eliminate the lies and talk, they would be able to know what they could hold against me. You see how they think? Like I said, I'm going to do this as a um, interpreting um, what manipulative people say. So they were trying to manipulate me into incriminating myself. So they said, no, it's not incriminating yourself, it's implicating yourself. But there's no crime. You can't implicate yourself or incriminate yourself if there's no crime. And that's my point. That's how manipulative they are. So the last part about that, that I want to say how manipulative they are is that they came up with these things after I rejected them. So these issues weren't issues until like they, they knew I didn't want them. And so in about 2020, that's when they knew for sure, I definitely didn't want them. And that's when this whole drama started. And then they started saying things out loud, which is another crime. And so the more I go through this with you folks and tell you publicly, the more they keep trying to come back with something else and say, I should call this person and keep begging. They're literally begging. Like when I said to you guys, oh, I'm begging you, please buy something from Cup of Java Productions, the bargain buster bin. That is not the same level of their begging. I mean, their begging is like, please, please. And that's my point. You know, there's, there's such this, they don't see the world in the right way because they're so manipulative. And they felt that they could make me, they said they thought they could make me do things because this was some sort of brainwashing, brain whatever thing. They felt that they could make me forgive them. There's no way to forgive them for this. This is, this is unforgivable. They were in 2021 or 20, you know, in 2021, they said, you're supposed to die. You're supposed to die in 2022. You're supposed to die. You're supposed to die in 2023. You're supposed to die. You're supposed to die. So they were not only trying to, they said they want to make things happen, not only trying to kill me, but they were waiting for me to die. And that's my point. There's nothing worse than somebody who not only finds people who they think can inherit from me when I die, but then makes me, tries to kill me. So that's not just manipulative. It's, it's a crime. It's a crime. And that's my point. It's a crime. A crime has been committed. So thank you guys. I will keep posting. The more I keep you guys posted, the less they talk, the, the less they come back with stupid stuff. I will never contact any of them ever in my life, ever. And the sad thing is that there are, they're finding people who support me. There may be a few people out there who support me. And I'm saying that sarcastically because there are more than a few and I thank them for it. But as they find people who support me, they're, they're feeling like, uh oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Uh oh, is right, you know. It's I think we're beyond the uh oh stage. So thank you guys for your support, and I am begging you guys, please make a purchase at Bargain Buster Bin. Again, I'm not going to sell junk. I try to describe things accurately, and you know I thank you for your purchase.